Today, women in Iran have become a voice for justice that can no longer be silenced. Not only the mothers, daughters, and sisters of the nation, women have now become its conscience and its beating heart. But what Iran fails to recognize is that women are in fact its most valuable resources, its hope to a brighter future. Indeed, Iran now finds itself at a critical crossroads in its history. Will it continue to stifle the calls for justice, or will it choose to re-examine itself, its own laws, policies, its very foundations, to ensure it stands in unity with its people? As it makes its choice, Iran must remember that no force can prevail against an idea whose time has come. For Baha'i women in Iran, the path has been even more arduous. This June marks 40 years since the harrowing execution of 10 Baha'i women in Iran, all hanged on one night for being Baha'is. One was only 16, most in their 20s. During months of torture and imprisonment, they were told to abandon their faith or face the consequences. They chose to stand for justice, for the right to tell the truth. Today's Iranian women, regardless of faith or background, continue the same legacy, striving for justice and equality at any cost, even their lives. Since the Islamic Revolution, Baha'i women have faced dual persecution, both as women and as Baha'is. Currently, two-thirds of all Baha'i prisoners are women. Mr. Rahman, we ask you, how do you plan to investigate the manifold discriminations faced by women of unrecognized faiths?